Welcome to the Rolling Grill, here for another video. This video is all about meal prep. Meal prep, meal prep, meal prep. Save yourself some time, save yourself some money. Meal prep is the way to go. And today we're gonna do a air fried Cornish hen. This is the Cornish hen right here. You can get them at Sam's Club, they come six in a pack. I wanna say they're probably about $13, $14 for a six pack. Perfect for meal prep purposes. But let's get into it. So, these are the containers that we're gonna be using for our meal prep. You can also purchase these at Sam's Club. They're microwave safe, dishwasher safe, and you can reuse them. They are the perfect portion size for meal prep. So, without further ado, let's get into it. Yeah, boy! Enough talking. Let's get to it. And basically all I'm gonna do is take some kitchen shears and I'm going right through the backbone. Right through. Man, this is perfect for meal prep, college students, man, on a budget, Cornish hen is the way to go. And then I'm gonna come right down the breastbone. Like I can say kitchen shears is the best way to do this. Boom, there you go. I'm gonna wash these off. And there you have it, you got two whole halves. Two whole halves of chicken that are gonna fit perfect, Cornish hen is gonna fit perfect in that bowl. All right, let's put our kitchen shears to the side. One hand, one clean hand, one dirty hand. I'm gonna use my seasoning today, my QQ dust seasoning, but by all means, salt and pepper, garlic, onion powder, all you need for this. And so, my rule of thumb is this. I'm not frying the chicken, but I still want a crispy exterior, so I'm gonna use the Pam bacon. Spray. And I'm gonna spray it all over before I season it. Perfect. Next, starting with the cavity. Hit it with some seasoning. And you are ready to go, folks. If you wanted to, you could have done this ahead of time, day ahead of time, let it sit in the refrigerator, it would be perfect. And that's it. That's all we're gonna let this um, air fry preheat for about 15 minutes, and then we'll go in and we'll start the whole process of building this meal prep, y'all. All right, guys, we are back. I'm gonna go ahead and hit these with a little bit of cracked pepper on the skin side. All right, and so our air fryer has preheated for 15 minutes. We're gonna go ahead and open it up. Be careful, these things get extremely hot. But I'm here to tell you, this air fryer, hands down, cooks the best Cornish All right, so basically, I've already sprayed them down. I'm going skin side down. Skin side down to start off. All right. Popping it back in the middle rack. I'm going in on the middle rack, skin side down, close it back up. I'm gonna let these go on 370 for 25 minutes. At the 25 minute mark, I'm gonna flip them over and do the skin side. And at about 40 minutes, they're ready to go. All right, guys, now that our Cornish hen is cooking, it's time to make a glaze. First, we're gonna start with a fourth of a cup of brown sugar. That's probably a little less than a fourth of a cup. We're also gonna add some honey. I put this in the microwave. The microwave it for 20 seconds, so it'll come out a little bit better. I'm gonna say one tablespoon of honey. Now, sesame oil. I'm gonna add a little less than a tablespoon of sesame oil. If you want more, matter of fact, let's just go with a tablespoon. A tablespoon of sesame oil. Lemongrass. I'm gonna go with a tablespoon of lemongrass. Soy sauce, this is actually ponzu sauce. It's got a citrus twist to it. And I'm gonna go with a fourth a cup of soy sauce. All right, that's a fourth a cup of ponzu sauce. We're gonna mix that up. All right, so our glaze is finished. What I'm gonna do is pop it in the microwave, heat it up, a lot of sugars to break down. This is our beautiful sesame glaze, fresh out the microwave. This is what we're gonna put on top of that Cornish hen once it's finished cooking. All right, guys, it's been 25 minutes. Let's go ahead and open it up. Extremely hot. All right, looks good. That's what we're looking at so far. We got a nice crust and a nice sear on the bone side, and now it's all about the flesh. We're gonna put it back in here and let it go for you know, 15 minutes, which will give you 40 minutes total. Perfect Cornish hen every time. 
All right, while the corn and shins are cooking, let's go ahead and saute up a little spinach, a little olive oil, a little butter, a little salt and pepper with a hot pan, and just make sure that you don't cook it all the way through because the residual heat will take it the rest of the way. All right, it's been 40 minutes total. What we're gonna do now is take our corn and shins out. I take the drip pan out. And what I'm gonna do is set this on top of the drip pan so that I won't waste any of this good glaze. I'm gonna flip it over. And I'm gonna spoon my sesame glaze all over. If you got a brush, take a brush. All right. All right, let's flip it over. Skin side, nice and crispy. Nice and crispy. Let's go ahead and spoon a little bit of this sesame glaze on top. All right, take that, work it in there. That's it, folks. I'm gonna let it sit back in here with the heat off. A lot of glaze attack up for about two or three minutes, and then we'll cool the chicken and get it ready for the meal prep container. All right, folks, we are ready to go. Our sesame glazed Cornish hen is right here. I allowed it to cool for about 25 minutes. Our spinach is cool. Uh, this is the house fried rice uh, that I made in that video for the house fried rice will be right here. Made this a day ago. So this is ready to go. So we are ready to now portion up our, our uh, meal prep containers. So first things first, we're gonna take some of this sauteed spinach and we're gonna use this as the bed that the Cornish hen is gonna sit on. Much as you like, this is a portion. Same here, it's a portion. All right, and then we just take our Cornish in. I made a little pocket for it, fits in there perfect. I told you it's the perfect, it's the perfect meal prep item, especially if you like chicken. Use Cornish in instead. All right, there's our Cornish in. It's laying on a bed of spinach. We've got our house fried rice right here. I told you I was gonna save some glaze, and what I do is, Hit it with a little bit of glaze. That sesame glaze, perfect. Put your two lemons in there. In case, you, in case whoever you're making this for wants to squeeze it on top. And you, my friends, are ready to go. Perfect portions, perfect for single folks that don't have time to cook, college kids that wanna make sure they have a good meal when they come home. Get you an air fryer. Perfect gift for a college dude going off to college. As long as they can have them in their dorm rooms, perfect. Much safer than a microwave. And that's it. You take your containers, put it on top, and you got lunch or dinner ready. Two portions of it. All right, y'all, I wanna thank y'all for joining me here at the Rolling Grill. Please like, share, and subscribe, man, please. And, um, if you watch at the end of the video, you'll get my web address, shop.therollingworld.com, if you're interested in buying some of my products. But as always, good food, good vibes. Yeah, boy.